solve each statement. So here we're asked to solve three statements comparing the function f of x and the function g of x. And all we are provided is a graph of the, those functions f of x and g of x, with f of x in blue and g of x in red. So to solve the first statement, where is f of x equal to g of x, we need to locate the points of intersection. So we find a point of intersection at 1, 6 and a point of intersection at 7, 6. So then in terms of x, the solutions of the equation are x equals 1 and x equals 7. Right? If x equals 1, f of x is 6, and g of x is 6, and 6 equals 6. So therefore, 1 is a solution, and similarly with 7. Now, what I like to do at this point is to kind of think of that those x values as boundaries. x equals 1 is a boundary x equals 7 is a boundary. Now we want to compare f of x and g of x. We want f of x to be less than or equal to g of x, or f of x to be greater than or equal to g of x. So what I would do here is, just to help you see things, and you know, if you are drawing this out on paper, the f of x is in blue, so I'm going to draw an f of x here. I'm going to draw an f of x here. I'm going to draw an f of x here. And in red, I'm going to draw a g of x here, here, and here. Now when we are trying to solve f of x is less than g of x, what we can think of is we want f of x to be below g of x. So we literally look and say, well, where is the f of x below the g of x? In the first region, the f of x is above the g of x. In the second region, the f of x is below the g of x. So I would shade that part of the number line. And in the third region, the f of x is above the g of x. And so now, for f of x is greater than g of x, we want the f of x to be above the g of x. All right, so for the first region, the f of x is above the g of x. I'll shade that region in green. And in the third region, the f of x is above the g of x, and I'll shade that region in green. And so now it's just a matter of writing the solutions. And I'm going to use interval notation here. The f of x is below the g of x on the interval 1 to 7. Now, since it's an or equal to, I will bracket the endpoints. Where is f of x greater than g of x? Well, that would be to the left of 1, so from negative infinity to 1 parenthesis, and union now to the right of 7, so 7 comma infinity.